Hello, Viking fans, and welcome to this week's edition of Viking Talk with Coach Josh Morgan. I'm Brandon Davis, and as always, glad to have with us Warren Central Head Football Coach Josh Morgan. Coach, great to have you back with us. It's good to see you, Brandon. Well, congratulations. A very impressive 42-13 to senior night win over the Petal Panthers last week. Coach, give us your thoughts on the game. I thought we uh, thought it was a good evening. Uh, I thought our, our senior night went well. I thought you did a really good job of making that special for the guys. Uh, I thought our seniors handled it well. Uh, you know, you get kind of wrapped up in your emotions during that, and, and uh, they did a good job of understanding we had uh, a big, big job and big task at hand, and, and uh, I thought they uh, were locked in and prepared, and, and uh, thought we thought we played well, and uh, you know, fortunate enough to uh, to really kind of separate ourselves in the second half and take over the game, and and uh, really put our stamp on it, and uh, there, you know, late in the third quarter. And uh, so I thought it was a really good, complete uh, effort by our guys in all three phases. And uh, I think, again, that, that uh, uh, it, it may have been one of our, you know, we're just continuing to get better and better. So it's, uh, it's good to see us uh, ride the momentum from the previous two weeks and, and continue to get better and, and uh, you know, win a game that we had to win. Well, Pedal did take the opening kickoff and they moved it rather efficiently down the field for a touchdown, but your defense coach, they clamped down and Pedal didn't score again until the fourth quarter at cleanup time. Talk about your defensive performance and you had to be pleased what you saw against Pedal. The, the first drive, you know, they, it was, we did some things that, that, that hurt us. Uh, they were coming out in a, a unbalanced type of, of alignment and, and uh, I thought that uh, it kind of caught us uh, off guard on that uh, and then we're going tempo with it uh, and, uh, you know, I think uh, we adjusted well to that and kind of settled down um, and really kind of from that point on uh, really played uh, lights out on that side of the ball and, and just did a really good job and uh, our defense is getting better and better and uh, so I was very proud of that effort uh, not only stopping them and getting and, and being really efficient in third down but you know we're turning people over now uh, making plays and uh, interceptions and blocking kicks and man that's what defense is all about so uh, uh, I like the way our guys are playing right now. 24 Ryan Poole from Pedal he ran all he ran hard all night long coach it was a great job of shutting him down because he could have been a, a big difference player a maker for Pedal. Yeah he's a good back you know he, he played a lot for him last year they were bigger uh, than I thought they would be uh, they were big up front uh, and uh, uh, so it was good to see us rise up and and and, and take a uh, take the fight to him and hang in there in that run game, not let him just get to going. Uh, and so I, I thought we did a good job, uh, with the exception of the first drive, really playing good all night long and, and uh, taking away the run, and that's what they want to do. Uh, so I was proud of our guys, proud of the fight and the toughness and the physicality up front especially. Well, it was a complete game. We talked about that. Special teams played outstanding. You put points on the board offensively. Uh, defense, we talked about how they shine. We got to talk about the performance of senior running back T.J. Thompson. We've talked about him throughout the season, Coach. But four touchdowns on the night, he really has improved throughout the season, week by week by week. But you have to be really pleased how he stepped up over these past few weeks when this in this winning streak. Yeah, he, he's a you know it's a what we're doing and how we've been effective has been totally team, and, and uh, he'll be the first to tell you that we've we've done a good job. Uh, in the kicking game, setting up uh, and winning field position battles. We've done a better job defensively of giving our offense the ball in, in good situations. And uh, TJ's got a, a really good offensive line in front of him. And so all that plays hand in hand. And, and when his number was called, uh, like we expect him to do, he, he, uh, he answered the bell and, and uh, he knows what to do with it. And he's getting better and better. And uh, he's a hard runner, he's a physical runner. And uh, he's got you know, that really good balance of speed and size and toughness, and uh, uh, he's done a really good job taking care of the football, too. So uh, we're very pleased with him and proud we got him. Well, we had a great opportunity to play some of our reserves late in the fourth quarter. It was great to see them finish the game with a score, uh, had a drive, went down the field and scored a touchdown. Who were some of the kids that stood out to you and the coaching staff off that reserve side of the ball? Well, you know, last week we had talked about, you know, the competition that we have on a weekly basis with, with those guys getting after it. And, and uh, they, they have worked extremely hard all year long. And, and uh, uh, we were, you know, chomping at the bit to be able to get them in and, and watch them uh, and, and, and to let them have that opportunity. And uh, uh, I thought the offensive line blocked extremely well. I mean, we. 
we uh, when we put them in, uh, they drove right down the field and looked really sharp doing it. Uh, we spend time with them as far as uh, in the practice plan and, 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 and in film uh, and, and uh, making sure that we're, we're ready for that moment. And uh, I thought they did a really good job. Uh, of course, Harley running the, the quarterback position, and I thought Lane uh, Gordon had a, a really good night uh, running the football. And, uh, but again, uh, you know, it comes back, I was probably more pleased with our offensive line uh, of, of just coming out there and, and not busting and playing uh, it looked like they've been there and done it. And uh, that was really good to see. Uh, it was also good to see us finish that drive with a DeCorey Knight touchdown. So uh, uh, very pleased with that and very fun to watch and very happy for those guys. Yeah, that's a good sign, especially when all the offensive linemen we're going to have to replace off of this year's team, seeing those young guys come in, yeah. that's got to be a good sign for you for the future. Yeah, they, you know, they're the future. And uh, four, as you mentioned, four of the five of our starting offensive linemen are seniors. Uh, so they're, they're definitely the future, and a lot of those guys are uh, have been paying their dues and waiting for their turn. So again, uh, that's what's going to be uh, that's what the Vikings are going to look like next year, and, and uh, we're proud of them, and, and uh, we're just glad that uh, they had some success and had an opportunity. Well, this is Viking Talk. We're visiting with Coach Josh Morgan. Well, this week, Coach, it's rather simple. You win, and you are in the playoffs, and. Uh, but standing in your way, Meridian Wildcats, and you know they would love to spoil our chances because they have just as much on the line as we do. What can you tell us about uh, the Wildcats? Well, you know, there's no true spoiler in this game. We're, we're both in the same boat. And uh, a lot to play for, a lot at stake. Uh, it's at Meridian, tough place to play. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's just so much fun this time of year. And that's the way we look at it. It's fun, and we're thankful that we're in the position to uh, have the opportunity that we have. And, a lot of folks don't have that, and uh, it's it's a fun time of the year. It's getting football weather, and uh, you're playing uh, meaningful football at the highest level. So it's a uh, it's a great time to be a Viking, and, and we're excited about the opportunity that we have in front of us. And Meridian is a, a talented team, uh, a talented team. Coach Douglas has done a good job with them and getting that program back going, uh, and uh, so it'll it'll be a another tough fault district game, and uh, they're very athletic. Uh, they're very uh, explosive on the offensive side of the ball, a lot of speed, uh, and the same way on defense, just speed and, 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 and uh, physicality and a uh, tough brand of football. And uh, uh, it'll be, you know, kind of what you uh, – Coach Douglas is really getting them back going to what people remember Meridian being mm -hmm. like, and that's tough and fast and physical. So uh, it's going to be uh, – it's going to be a, a, a hard-fought game, and uh, it's going to be a highly – uh, competitive game because anytime you got what's at stake, it's basically a playoff game, and, and uh, so it'll you know the uh, uh, the scenario is there, and, and it's going to be one of those games. It'll be a great atmosphere and, and uh, a lot at stake, so uh, it'll be a, a, a fun evening of football and probably a fun game to watch. We played the historic Ray Stadium. If you know anything about high school football, it is one of the historic stadiums in the state. It's really something to see. They're led by quarterback Mark Smith. He does a great job of running a very high-powered offense, as you talked about, averaging about 31, 32 points a game. They throw a lot of high-percentage passes, Coach, and you'll see them run some option out of the shotgun. Going to be a big challenge, I would imagine, for our outside linebackers and our defensive backs. Discuss the importance of tackling well in space on the perimeter and eliminating those big plays. Well, you know, they have, I think they have a, uh, a superior, superb, superb, talented position at, at, at really every position. For example, you know, the receiver is, uh, they've got one, number 16, he's about 6'3", you know, 185, just a, uh, your prototypical receiver type. They have one of the fastest players in the state uh, that'll be working out of the slot that they throw it to and run, uh, run speed sweeps with, uh, number one. And uh, so, you know, really talented in what they do. They put them all on the field at the same time, so it's hard to key in on one of them. Uh, the quarterback you mentioned makes them go. So, you know, it's going to be a, another uh, another night where everybody has to do their job. And, and we have to be able to, to depend on one another and be great tacklers, as you mentioned, and eliminate the big play. The thing that the last three weeks that we've done a really good job of is taking away big plays. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just really that simple. We, we, we've, we've been so much better uh, at tackling and so much better at, at uh, not letting anything get behind us and over our heads. and run for long yards or, or big, big, big plays in the passing game. So uh, it's clearly uh, the reason that we've been successful and we'll try to duplicate that uh, Friday night. 
Well, you know, something I think you'd have to worry about, and I'm sure you've, you've discussed this with the kids, is that watching film on this Meridian bunch, they're going to be in these formations where they may run these option plays. But then if you're not careful, they'll come back and hit you with a dive and run up the field. We saw that on some of their, um, I believe it was Terry or maybe Oak Grove, where they ran some big plays on dive plays. So attention to detail on the defensive line has to be something. Maintaining gap control is something you had to focus on this week. Yeah, we, you know, we had a short week playing on Thursday and uh, playing on a short week. We'll see a bunch of different formations and uh, some plays that, that, that you and I are used to, but a lot of our kids aren't used to. Trap, the, the dive option, you know, everybody – uh, these days runs a zone option. It's two different looks for a defensive end and linebacker. One, you're getting attacked at down the hill, and, and the zone, you're getting attacked at across his face. So uh, it's a little bit different tweaks in there that we've got to make sure that we're on point with. And, uh, you know, my, my biggest deal is, is, is their speed on the perimeter and not getting outflanked uh, there and, and uh, also being sound in the box uh, uh, with, the, with the, the options and the traps and, and the things of that nature. So. Uh, uh, we've done the very best that we can to get our guys prepared, show them those looks, educate them, because once they're on the field, they've got to make those calls, they've got to make the, uh, the right adjustments, and, uh, and uh, so far we've done a pretty good job of doing that. Well, they're coming off a very disappointing 29-28 to 28 loss to Terry last week. It's already going to be an emotional night for them, Coach. They're going to be celebrating senior night. They're back at their place. Their backs are against the wall. They want to be in the playoffs to get Meridian back to where they used to be. Uh, this is a dangerous formula if you put it all together, like I said, in their place. I'm sure that you've stressed all of this to the team this week and how it's a travel week. You've got to go all the way over there. You've got to be on top of your game when you get off that bus on Friday gotta night. You've got to be on top of our game. It's all about us. As far as I'm concerned, we've got to be, uh, we've got to be on point. We've got to be dialed in. We've got to be ready uh, to play at our best because we're going to get their best. Mm -hmm. And it's really that simple. And, and uh, uh, we're, we're – Again, focused on us. We, we know how to win. We know what that looks like. We know our identity. We know exactly who we are. Uh, we're going to have to roll the ball out there and earn it and uh, be ready for that fight that's coming. And uh, hopefully we're bringing it to them. And uh, hopefully uh, we can come out on the, uh, the right end of it. But I'm going to tell you, it's, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a, a physical battle. And, uh, you know, and, and we're, we're very well and we understand uh, – uh, what we're going into, and, and but you're exactly right. You know, we're, we're getting ready to play uh, Meridian's uh, very best, and, and uh, hopefully we can be at ours too. Well, the past two weeks, and we've actually we've talked about this all season, we've said we've been right on the edge of being really good on offense. In the past right. two weeks, we've averaged about 33 points a game offensively. We're going up against a Meridian unit that's given up 36 points a game in the region slate. However, we talked about this. They've got size, speed, and they look the part. What concerns you about this Meridian defense as you go into this game? I think the speed of, 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 the, of the defense is, is probably their strength. Uh, they've got some good size, uh, but, but they're not as big as what we've been seeing. I think they're more, uh, more fast and, and athletic. Uh, but again, you know, Brandon, it, it comes back to if we do uh, and we execute the way that, 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 you know, that I know that we can and, and uh, if, we can, if we can play our brand of football, uh, we're going to be hard to beat, mm -hmm. and uh, you know that's that's the message, and it's very clear. You know, make sure you're dialed in, locked in. Let's be the very best us that we can be, and then we'll let the chips fall where they may. And uh, uh, I feel very confident in our team. Uh, our team is starting to, to understand, and they're 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 a confident bunch right now. We have a lot of momentum. We've been on a a, a three-game stretch of, of three wins, and I think we've gotten better uh, each week. Uh, and so, you know, I feel like, you know, we're going to ride that momentum. Uh, our deal is, as the coaches, is we want to make sure that they're dialed in and getting ready uh, to put it on the line one more time type of deal and, and uh, make sure that we're ready to go. But it's all about execution on our end. Uh, execution and make sure that uh, our heart's where it needs to be. And uh, I think the last three weeks that we have wanted it more than the other team, to be honest with you, and uh, my message to them yesterday was the same exact thing, whoever wants it the most. Whoever wants it the most and is willing to do whatever it takes to win uh, will come out of victory, and uh, we need to make sure that's us. Well, you talk a lot about finding and winning those hidden yards. It's something you preach around here all the time, something that you've taught me. And the best way to do that, I think, is probably in the special teams unit. 
In addition to his place kicking duties, Brandon Gillum has stepped into our role as punter the, for the back part of this season. I think he's done exceptionally well for us, Coach. Yeah. Discuss his performance over the past few weeks, and what do you need to see from him again this uh, Thursday night? Uh, Brandon has been uh, become the weapon that we all thought he could be. Uh, and uh, when you have uh, you know, talent there in the kicking game and you use it the right way and you protect it and you cover it and uh, – you know, on the kicks, you know, it's 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 a it's a it's a great asset to your football team, and uh, he's done a really good job of being consistently good. Uh, extra points, and field goals, uh, his kickoffs have gotten better. I mean, he's starting to kick the ball in the end zone consistently. Uh, you're talking about field position. You're talking about uh, you know starting drives on the 20-yard line versus 30, 35, 40. It's just uh, uh, so it, that that's again hidden yards. We talk about punts. Uh, we talk about fielding punts, so uh, we we uh, we try to win there. We we work, we work really hard on our special teams. Uh, and Brandon has been a really big weapon, and, and I think that he's had a really big part uh, of this this second half surge that we're making. And uh, we just need him to continue to do what he's been doing and and uh, keep that consistency level up, so we can count on him even more. Yeah, I think he had a 64-yard punt the other night mm -hmm. uh, against uh, Pedal and just. Yep. Flipping the field position, and that's really big, especially if the offense stalls. He's helping you out. He's been a big weapon for yeah, us. Yeah, if you don't turn the ball over, if you take care of the football offensively, all right, and, and we, we, we don't fumble, we don't throw picks, and, and, and we don't do things of that nature, and you can have a great kicking game, uh, that alone, and I'm not talking about anything other than those two things, gives yourself a really good chance. Uh, and that's what we've been known for. Uh, we have not always played like that, uh, but we're starting to get that, that way and start to get really good at that, uh, playing really good uh, you know, special teams and, and being good there, taking care of the football. Uh, we're starting to get our defense the way it needs to be. You know, you're getting in the playoffs, you're getting in cold weather, you've got to be able to run the football and you've got to play great defense. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a kicker, you've got a chance. Uh, and we have all those things. And uh, that's why we're so excited around here right now. We've got a lot of momentum. Uh, we're about as healthy as we can be at this point in time. Uh, we're starting to put the team together that we all envision at the right time. And uh, we have built our guys for this run. And uh, we've got to make sure that we can stay on the run by, by winning this football game. Well, Brandon, he's a phenomenal kicker. Somebody's going to get a gym next year, Coach. I know the recruiting is going to pick up. Any of you coaches out there watching, come see us. We've got a good one for you, both punter and place kicker here at Warren Central. Uh, this is going to be – the first long road trip that you've had in two years, right at it. And we're going two hours over to Meridian. I know in the past we went to Startville. We've had our stop off at Lake Teocotti anytime we went north. But what's your approach going to be going east, ensuring that our guys are going to be ready and fresh for this game? Well, that, you know, one of the things that I told our guys, you know, the, the biggest advantage that Meridian has going into uh, the game is that we have to get on buses and travel. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to flip that. We want to travel well. We want to, to have a great, uh, you know, trip lined up for them and, and, and make sure that we turn that into a positive for us. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to uh, travel and, and make sure that our guys are locked in and, you know, game day type atmosphere. But uh, uh, the, level, the level of focus uh, that our guys have been able to hold. We've had a good time and we've enjoyed uh, our weeks and stuff. But what we've done a really good job of is Thursdays and Fridays uh, start to roll around, you know, you can start to see our kids' faces changing and kind of getting zoned in and locked in. And, uh, you know, that's, that just means so much, especially in high school. We just got to make sure that we're dialed in and understand it's a business trip and how to approach it. So that'll be, that'll be the way that we handle that. Well, due to the official shortage in the state, we were forced to play this game on Thursday night. Uh, it's such an important game for us, Coach. Obviously, our playoffs hopes are on the line. Discuss the challenge of preparing for this game on such a short week. Well, you know, one thing that makes it fun is that, that we're playing good and, and uh, that we have a lot to play for. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, kids have handled it well, you know. Uh, this week coming in, uh, they were ready for whatever was thrown at them. So, uh, uh, again, uh, coaches did a good job of, of uh, really combining two days into one and uh, trying to keep our guys fresh. and. Uh, still, but while we're getting our work done, so we've done a good job with that, and uh, and uh, I thought I think our kids have done good at uh, again adapting to different situations. So I don't think that'll be too big of an issue. So you 
pleased with the way the team responded this week to the schedule and you know, like you yeah. said you had to combine some practices but yeah. pleased with that, the attitude yeah. and everything yeah. they're, they're, went. they're just uh, and that helps having an old bunch you know we've got 30 seniors and uh, and we've got a, a, you know a good number of juniors so uh, they understand you know like last week you know, during the rain and stuff trying to get practices in the end before uh, this and that comes through so they've been able to adapt to, to different things thrown at them still uh, in the meanwhile getting the work done and making sure that we're getting our film study in and getting our game plan in so uh, they know how big this game is and they want to be as prepared that always helps uh, the want to uh, so the want to is there and, and uh, coaches have done a good job organizing practice well it, senior night was last week it was a special night it was an honor to be a part of that but something I wanted to bring up we had a block punt Jay Mims blocked a punt Ashton Murphy recovered it, took it in for a touchdown. Ashton's one of our seniors, also has been a reserve here, put his time in here at Warren Central. Had to be so rewarding to you, I know for him, but rewarding to you to see him score that touchdown on senior night. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, we talked about, I guess in the middle of the year, you know, we weren't making plays. We just weren't making plays. You know, we were playing okay, but, the, the you know, the games are going to be won by, you know, playmakers and, and uh uh, we have done such an incredible job of that, and it's been so much fun to watch. Uh, that's the name of the game. You want to be big time, and, and, and you want to be successful. You got to make plays, and, and uh, we've been able to do that. And, and that was a that was about as pretty as it gets. You, you block it from the left side and the right side. You know, it, it finally we got a ball to bounce. You know, in the right, right direction way. this time. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, Ashton was uh, knew what to do with it when he got it. So uh, those are two seniors making the plays, and and. Uh, and it goes on though, you know, Jay blocked an extra point, another senior, and uh, I think Danny Geis had a pick, another uh, another senior, Jason Williams had a pick, another senior. Uh, Floyd Davenport has been on fire the last three or four games and, and leading us in tackles, another senior. Preston Lynch has continued to uh, be a dominant figure uh, in our passing game, another senior, offensive line seniors, and TJ Thompson, as you mentioned, senior. So, it's good to see our old boys making plays and stepping up because they're going to have to, you know, everybody can't jump in the wagon and sit there. Somebody's got to be pulling the wagon. And our guys have understood that and really take, uh, you know, take heed to that. And, and they've done a better job of making plays and, and, and being ready for that. So uh, done a good job making plays, but it was, it was awfully fun to see Ashton uh, get that touchdown and, and uh, really kind of busted the game open and got our sideline going and our, our crowd going. So big play of the game. Big smile after the game, too. I think the boy smiled. He's still smiling, <laughs> He's still but it was smiling. great to see. Congratulations <laughs> to him. It was a great play. And it, like you said, it really turned the game open. So, Coach, we're at the end of the season, and uh, I got to ask this because I ask all the time. I ask Coach Rob, y'all going to let me call some plays this week? I don't know about Probably this. Probably not. I didn't think so. <laughs> I have to ask anyway, though. When we get up by 40, I'll, I'll send y'all a text from the, from I the hope press we're in box. That situation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Coach, what are the keys to beat Meridian? Well, you know, defensively, uh, defensively, we've got to do a really good job on third downs. Uh, we've got to do a good job. They're, we're going to see, uh, I, I think, several different formations. And the one that concerns me the most is they'll have a wildcat package where they put their two best athletes back there and uh, do some misdirection type stuff. So, and then they'll spread you out in four wide. Uh, third down is going to be crucial. If we can weather those storms and minimize blows early in the series, uh, and we can be great uh, on third downs, uh, whether we're dialing up pressure or playing coverage or, uh, again, with different formations. So we'll try to match that best we can with what we're doing with our guys. Uh, offensively, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, we, we've got to do a good job of running the football. Uh, we've got to do a good job of, of maintaining. One thing that we've done a really good job is we've been so much better on third downs on both sides of the ball. Uh, uh, you, can't, you can't get any momentum. All right, if, if, if you can't stay on the field and get that momentum and that rhythm. So we've done a really good job of converting on third downs offensively. Uh, and, we've, and that's really, you know, we've had some drives. I think we had, uh, you know, three or four drives of five first downs or more. Uh, and that's how you get a rhythm going and that's how you get some cohesiveness with the unit. Uh, but we've got to get Trey Hall going. Uh, you know, Preston has been our, our, our workhorse on third downs. We've got to get uh, some more guys going uh, to help uh, uh, to help with that, and, and uh, we've moved and pressing around quite a good bit and try to find different matchups. And got to get Trey going. Uh, I think he's getting healthier and healthier, but we need him to be the Trey Hall that we all know he can be. 
uh, and, and, and to, to give us that explosive element that he brings. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and, and uh, so we need to make sure that we're getting uh, him going along with Preston and TJ. And once you get those guys going and you get that rhythm, uh, we've got a pretty good offense and hard to stop. And uh, defensively, uh, big plays and third downs and uh, a couple turnovers wouldn't hurt either. Well, Coach, best gonna of luck to you. Going to have to win in special teams too, Brandon. Absolutely, absolutely. That's we, always our, our special teams are going to uh, feel like we have the edge, and uh, we've got to make it. We've got to make it. Uh, uh, you know, we've got to make it uh, really important. It's going to be for us to to use that as an edge to win this game. Well, do you have your long johns ready? Because I think it's going to be cold, isn't it? I think it's going to be cold. I, you know, once we get going, we coaches start taking off jackets and all kind of stuff. So we'll be prepared for That's it. the last thing you're concerned about is being cold, aren't you? It's no <laughs> fun getting being cold. That's all true. Right, but once you get going, it's it usually, you know, if, if you're cold, you need to do something else. Get, get, get yourself going. That's you right. Well, well so, Coach, best of luck to you. Thank you, man. And that means if we are back next week, that means we won the game. Yes. Let's win. Let's win. Let's I, win, baby. Because let's have, let's have one more week, right? Let's, let's do and it. And then we'll worry about week after week after that. That's it. All right. Well, I want to thank you all for joining us this season. It has been a heck of a ride. Unfortunately, if, if we aren't lucky this Friday night and fortunate to win this game, this will be our last show of the year. But we're planning on being back next week. We're planning on seeing you again. And, again, just thank you for all your support this season, for what you meant for this coaching staff, what you mean for these kids. Uh, the work that we're doing, adding value to the, to the community, building these kids up, it, we, we just thank you so much for all that you're doing. Um, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the show. For Josh Morgan, I'm Brandon Davis. We're going to see you next week because we're going to win Friday night. Until then, this is Viking Talk. I'm Brandon Davis, Josh Morgan. Until then, rise up, Vikings.